everybody to the 25 North Podcast. I am your GM, Jason, and I'm hitting you all with my NPR voice. And with me today, I have the crew. Hello. Am I, am I doing it? Am I matching the energy? Hello and welcome. Hi, how's it going here in Sleepy Time Land? <laughs> you know, I'm not such a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> His I, was, I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to break it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it, it could continue here. forever. I was expecting this is it. Not, this is not NPR. This is 25 North. We are a Pathfinder 2E third party podcast. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> I'm Corey. <laughs> Love this. Looking funny. We got we got a weird energy right now. I can feel it. Yeah. What? No. Yeah. We're, we got a sleepy. Good. We got a sleepy energy. Oh, Welcome sleepy. Welcome to Pathfinder. Roller got, coasters. Yeah, we got a <laughs> we got a bit of sleepy energy. Luner was saying that she didn't sleep very well. No, God has cursed me for my hubris of wanting to make more art, and my work will never be complete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I um. I just had a sleep study done. Not like the full on lab sleep study. Yeah. But like, um, I don't know. Has anybody, have you, any of you have had a sleep study done before? No, I have no, not. No. I have. So, yeah. So, you know, um, if you haven't, for the three of you here who haven't, and for those on the, who are listening who haven't, the first step they do is they send you home with a pulse oximeter that you just, that's a little light thing that you put on the, the tip of your finger. Oh, yeah. And it just kind of measures your oxygen level throughout the night. <laughs> and they do that so they can check to see how you're breathing at night. Because if you have sleep apnea, that basically means that you're, you're choking in the middle of the night and you're not getting enough oxygen in your system. And they can... It's not a, it's not a perfect test, but it, it kind of it can set them along a path. So I had that done, and it came back like super mild. So apparently mine dipped below a certain threshold twelve times, and so they say that they're not really concerned. So like anything below fifteen is nothing to worry about. Fifteen and above is moderate and then 30 and above is where they get concerned and so mine was 12 and so she so she did this test and she looked at me and looked into my mouth <laughs> and I, I already told the story to Rachel on Friday yeah and she looked at my mouth and then looked down my throat and everything and then she's so she's like yeah so you know they're we're gonna send you home with another test and I'm actually gonna do it tonight before I go to bed Ooh. And it's basically the same. They, they, you put it on your finger, then there's another one. Where you you got to put something around your wrist. And then you put a band around your chest that measures your heart rate and your oh. breathing and everything. But she's like, yeah, so like if you do have mild, there's a couple ways we can go. You know, we could put you on an APAP, which is an, basically like a CPAP, but it's not constant. They get rid of the constant and this automatic, this the A. So it basically will measure when you stop breathing, and then that's when it triggers. But and the, but she's like, but for you, it'll most likely we'll probably go with um, a mechanism. And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, well, you know, we could send you a prescription over to your dentist, and he could put a, we can get you a mouth guard that kind of sets your jaw, and then keeps your tongue in place and i was like oh oh okay why why would that be oh because you have a really large tongue and i was oh. like what? what she's like oh yeah yeah you have a you have an incredibly large tongue so i have a so that's what i'm guessing is what's causing because your tongue is really set far back and it's incredibly large <laughs> i'm like oh okay good to know so i have a big ass tongue <laughs> So, so you're telling me you're, you're, 
you're choking on your tongue in your own sleep, and that's pretty what's much. causing you to have issues. Yeah, yeah. pretty awesome. much. <laughs> cool. I'm so, so basically, glad they're I gonna, saw they're gonna, they're they're doing another test, and if those come back with some issues, I'm gonna have to go get a special mouth mouth guard so I don't choke on my tongue in the middle of the night. Cool. I don't know what what did your sleep study say, Corey? Mine didn't go that route. I ended up mostly talking and doing some like light based testing with a sleep pathologist. So I spent a bunch of time using a UV light for X a number of hours before bed, sleeping from this time to this time exclusively, hard set alarms, different environments, white noise meditation, that kind of thing. Mm. And essentially it just comes down to the fact that it runs in my family and rather than having sleep apnea, we have, uh, it's common for people in my bloodline to have issues with something called, I believe it's the sick circadian rhythm, circadian. which is essentially circadian rhythm. Yes, that's it. And essentially I just have kind of an abnormal one that makes it so I function from certain hours of the day better than others and can't sleep at other ones. So Dang. yeah, we worked through that, learned some tricks to get to sleep and stuff. And now I control it a lot better, but I am a complete creature of routine because of that. I sleep from X time to X time every night like clockwork. No alarm required. Dang. Which is, which is why the working at the restaurant was probably super was bad for working. you. Yeah. Just because I couldn't set that clockwork routine like I needed without it eating my entire day. I do really feel for the the cyclonic dish monster that we just fought. It's <laughs> uh, it's just a kitchen trauma PTSD cyclone. Yeah. And... You know, I, I get where that's coming from. I understand that one. <laughs> but for you, Lunar, it's just you get a wave of inspiration and you just got to draw. I, I, okay, so it is the worst where I'll be like, as I'm going to bed, I'm like, okay, awesome. I'm going to have like some like white noise playing in the background as I'm like trying to go off to sleep. And then... At like 2 a.m., I'll wake up out of nowhere and be like, I have an art idea. I need to draw. <laughs> and then I'll try getting the idea down. And then as I'm lying there, I'm like, well, shit, now I'm awake. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I'll try to go back to sleep. The other like bad thing for me is that I actually sleep talk sometimes. <laughs> it, it sucks. Especially because others have found out whenever I'm like sharing a hotel room with like a bunch of friends or Jackson, he, I think you've heard me sleep talk once. I have. Yeah. I was <laughs> I'm like, pretty I know. sure I wrote it down too. You probably did. Because <laughs> it was probably, it was, I think the same. It was very funny. It was during it was, RTX. That's, that's right. God damn it. But yeah. Do you do the thing where you have a whole conversation with someone else while you're asleep? That's fun. Honestly, I, I, I think way. that's what it is. I'll like, I'm right there with you. I sleepwalk and sleep talk. Not as bad as I did uh, when I was like, let's say peak puberty is really the best way to oh, describe yeah. it. Like that 13 through 16. Dude. I would wake up in the morning on the school bus halfway to school after having gotten up, showered, gotten dressed, walked across town to the bus stop and then gotten on because uh, I was sleepwalking so bad. The problem is, I would also do that at, like, 3 in the morning. So if my parents didn't wake up, and at 3 in the morning the bus stop wasn't open, it was the convenience store, it didn't open till 7 a.m. or something, I could be standing out there in, like, minus 30, so they had to put a special lock at the very top of the door that I couldn't uh, easily undo while sleepwalking. Nice. That's crazy. Yeah, glad it's not a problem anymore. Thank God. I mean, the most that I had for me when I was younger was I would recite the weather when I was growing up. And I'd be like, okay, so the weather, as size group, it's going to be a sunny day. 80 degrees, because I lived in uh, California at the time. And my grandma would come over like, Luna, what's going on? I'm like, what? Huh? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I just snore really loud. You do? Oh my god, it shakes the house. <laughs> I just don't sleep. That's 
Uh, I had about one month when I could sleep at the beginning of my second trimester with my first kid, but then I broke my arm and that stopped. So, oh, yeah, no. never mm. again. No sleep. No sleep. Maybe the sleep will return to you eventually. Yeah. yeah. When the when the boys are old enough. Well, I mean, gone. I didn't sleep before they were born, and uh, it was oh, just no. a very brief period. So. Yeah. I got my you one should month. get a sleep study. Yeah. You should get a sleep study. That would require interacting with people. Yeah. <laughs> but you could do it from sure home. you can do it digitally now it is. Yeah, I don't yeah. know you could do that. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, you could you could do a video conference with your doctor no, and then they'll send you the pulse ox. That is yeah, it's still interactive. That's with people. like a phone call. We'll set you up the with the We'll set you up with a VTuber avatar and oh you'll God. be fine. Okay. I got you, I can help you yeah. out. I'll make one of you do the phone call for me. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes, and for you. <laughs> <laughs> really cool improv session. Yeah. My, my client is wanting me to express they don't sleep well. And. Oh, I'm just a friend of Rachel's. Don't worry about it. Anyways. I have, I have power of attorney, right? Wait. right? I'm, a cho- I'm a chosen intermediary. <laughs> I don't think I... any intermediary is going to get between Zaba and this counselor, though, unless somebody oh, shows out a real fast. Oh, there you go. There nice. you go. I was going to do the transition Corey. of she's an intermediary between the spirit worlds, but that was a better one. That was a better one. I, I tried. You that, did. Last you we succeeded. left off. Last we left off. Y- y- y'all fought a dishrag dervish who managed to sicken the majority of the party. <laughs> Everybody but Syl. I really. don't want to talk about it. <laughs> And then um, Timothy managed to kick the shit out of it from his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then fling fling some magic. Uh, Zaba slicing. Uh, Vesuviac warding. Sill whiffing. Not getting sick. That's the important part. That's Not getting sick. Or falling yeah. down. That's the important one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, so far... This this enemy looks humanoid so far, so that's you got that going for you. Yeah. What do you mean me. so far? <laughs> Second phase becomes a ghost. Then you met Mupto, uh, yeah. this little teenage junior cook who was terrified, couldn't figure out a way out of the kitchen, managed to survive this entire time though. Mm-hmm. Eating and living off of the ale and the food that was in this pantry. You managed to get him out, get him move, get him back home. He informed you that, you know, it's been a while since they've seen the owner and that shit really started going awry about a week ago when Councilwoman Pelbori rented out the private party room and that's when shit started going weird and Mupto didn't think anything of it at the time just thinking that hey it was probably just council business but not after putting two and two together and seeing what happened you all went into that room but not before we got to say this not before Zaba went into the kitchen found four bottles of old Woody pocketed four bottles of old Woody for himself without the rest of the party seeing it. Then went in and managed to figure out that, hey, the runes that Councilwoman Pelbori uh, chalked on the ground, they, they do look like they're protective runes, but she fucked up in a couple spots, and those protective runes then completely flipped and became summon runes and agitation runes. So even though she thinks she's protecting, she's in fact summoning more spirits here and pissing them off. Now when Zaba uh, tried to approach approach her and he slid his foot across the runes, this totally set her off and she has no... I mean, she's completely paranoid. 
and does not doesn't have any inkling of taking any kind of blame. And that's when we folks are going to go right into initiative. So let's do that. And let's go, shall let's we? Go, Hell yeah. Let's roll them bodes. <gasps> Whoa! A high roll from Timothy? So Councilwoman Pelbori gets to go first. Oh boy. Well, she already heard you coming. So she cast Mage Armor on herself. And let's see. She can't see the rest of you all from from around the corner. So, the first thing she's going to do is she is going to attempt to cast a spell Ooh. targeting Zaba. And I'm going to need you to make that will save, Zaba. You got it. Uh-oh. Oh, that, my friend, is a save. That's a success. Saba so won't be commanded against his willingness. That was an 18 on the die for a 27. And succeeded as she pointed a finger at Zaba and, started, and just started saying, run away. And Zaba, nope, not going to happen. I don't think I'm going to do that, you know? All right. And then that being the case, she will then... Gonna look right at Zaba. She's like, fine, you won't run away? Then you'll die. And that scares the shit out of Zaba. As he becomes <laughs> frightened too. Whoa. That's a critical success. Yikes. And we will pass the turn to Mr. Timothy Bono. Is Bono time. Okay, so Timothy is definitely hearing what sounds like fighting. And was that the winds of a demoralizing thing said? Uh-oh, he doesn't like that either. So he's going to walk into the room and he's going to shout like, Zaba, hey, what's going? Oh, shit. There's a lot happening. Oh, my God. Okay. So, yeah. So well, real quick, just to remind, remind you yeah. that this room... Uh, Zaba already already identified what the runes are. Yeah. But every inch of the room, it, um, it's a large chamber. It's a party room. Yeah. It's covered with scrawled notes and diagrams. Ooh. There's twine that's leading from some of the diagrams to other diagrams, making this huge like web, like conspiracy model web, basically all on the room's walls. Two serving tables are all but invisible underneath a heap of untidy paper. And then there's the chalk circle that has the runes. So, um, he Id so Zaba already identified the chalk circle. Mm -hmm. It's the, the the web map on the wall yeah. that he didn't he did not identify. And of course, there's also Counselor Pelbori. Yeah, there isn't a way to like vibe check her as I'm coming into the room, unless that would be an action. To no, that would you would have to recall knowledge on her. Okay. Well then, I could. And then it would I be an to action to recall knowledge on the yeah on the conspiracy that would, map. That would make sense. I think. I mean, it would make sense for him to do a recall knowledge, especially on this certain lady here. Okay. Well, you want to do that. That's what I feel right. Yeah. You want to do that with your the weakness thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do exploit vulnerability. That's, that's what yes. it should be. Yes. Yes. So let me target her really quick. Bada bing, bada boom. Exploit vulnerability. All those bones, please, God. Oh. Success. Yeah, son. All right. So, this is a... And <laughs> that's a success on the lore, too. Wow. Fuck, yeah. Okay, so Gamayan humanoid. Yes. She's chaotic neutral. Okay. So she's not evil. Thank God. She's a councilwoman. Yes. She's she's a spiritualist. Oh, okay. 
so she has no weakness. Good she has for no her. weakness. So um, this would be your personal antithesis. Yeah. And what you can ask one thing about her. What do you want to know? Is there a, like I'm I'm trying to think of best way to go about this. Not weaknesses. What is she a, immune to? She so she has no immunities nor does she have any resistances. She's okay. basically a straight up humanoid. Cool. So no immunities. Awesome. All right. So Timothy does relay this to Zaba and the others. He shouts to the door. It's like, hey, the councilman's in here. And uh, yeah, she's she's throwing hands. She's not weak to, or she she's she's not strong against anything and she's not exactly weak to anything. So free for all, really. I'm trying to think of what I want to do for my last action here. I, I wonder. What if I did divine disharmony on this thing? Or on her? I haven't done this yet. I've been waiting to use it. For my collection of religious trinkets, I pull out opposing divine objects such as religious symbols of two deities that hate that are hated enemies and combine them in a display that causes dissonant clashes of divine energy that are especially distracting to the faithful. I feel like she's faithful, if I'm not mistaken. Roll your choice of deception or intimidation against the will DC of the creature that you can yeah. see with the following results. If the creature is particularly devout, such as a cleric, a monitor, a celestial, a fiend, or any other creature with a divine with divine spells, you gain a plus two to this check. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I feel like something about how she's well, she's really spiritual. I'm like, well, maybe this would work with gods, too. So this would be something that you'd want to do at the beginning of your turn. Oh. Because a success would make them off guard until the end of your turn. And a critical success will make them off guard until the end of your next turn. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I misread no, no, that. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. This is No, that's a really good one to do as your first action next turn. Yeah. All right, then. Well, then I'll, I'll hold that in the back burner then instead. Yep. And instead what I'll do is, well, I saw hit I saw her demoralize Zaba. I'm going to demoralize her. Good call. Surprise, bitch. All right. Okay, so I'm going to make that intimidation check. Oh, mm -hmm. please. Hey, please. <sighs> Lame. Oh, okay. oh, four on the die plus 12 is a 16. That I is a fail. Here. Yeah, all right. That's Timothy's turn. I only roll good for so long, gang. All right, Vesuviac. Okay, I'm going to take a stride action just to get into the room. Hey, bud. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see what's going on. Vesuviac doesn't want to, like, kill this person because yeah. they, they do have good intention. So he's going to go ahead and cast Admonishing Ray onto mm. the counselor. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that going. Oh no, two on the die. Do, 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 do. That do, do, is a club. critical miss. Two, club, two, two on the club. die for twelve. Rip. All right. Well, that's uh, that's all Vesuviac can do. He just looks a little pissed. Wait, we do get to. Um, this is episode nine. We do get to refresh our hero points, don't we? Yay. Oh shit! Oh yeah. Sure. Do you, so yeah, let's do that real quick before we get too far <laughs> into the battle because shit, we don't want to. <laughs> That'd be oh, bad. I could have rerolled my demoralize. Ah, that's fine. That's whatever. All right, let's do that real quick before we get too far into the battle. Yeah. So let's go ahead real quick, and you all get to do the party hero point. So from the last four episodes. I had something just to, oh. I uh Corey, the player, as on behalf of Zaba, would like to nominate Vesuviac for it for oh. ceding to my wills and using expensive spell slots to heal me instead <laughs> of combat medicine. 
I, Lunar, will also nominate Vesuviac. Because I really, I really like how you've been playing Vesuviac the last few sessions. It's been really fun. Oh, thank you. I, uh... I nominate Zaba. I like that your your character definitely has a lot of depth and a lot of dimensions that I'm excited to get into, uh, especially with the whole good guy, bad guy thing. Vesuviac sees that that's actually something super important. <laughs> yeah, he's he's trying his best to uh, to do things. Uh, well, yeah. things we're not sure yet, but. <laughs> I'll uh sure they'll all be figure it out. They'll Very be good fine. and not deadly. I haven't done anything bad yet. Yeah, that word last yet. word, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very he's, he's kept it in tail. Just because he's a bad guy does not mean he is a bad guy. Yeah, come on. <laughs> All this doubt on his character and he hasn't he hasn't done anything to dis- dissuade you guys from trusting him. Mm. Sure, he may have walked into the interview fully chained up for doing something to a guard, but very... I don't take that as a sign on his true character. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Zabo was very funny uh, and useful last session, but I agree with Vesuviac Ben. All right. Well played. MVP. He- mm-hmm. Healing is important. Mm-hmm. Vesuviac, take a bonus hero point. So everybody refresh to one. Yeah. Yep. And then Vesuviac gets one. Well, thank you all. <laughs> and then the GM hero point. We'll go to. We'll go to Lunar. What? For <laughs> saving Zaba's ass. With, oh, those, yeah. with those elixirs. Yeah, I Good forgot call. I did that. So I didn't have to kill a third Cory PC. Nah, man. <laughs> I, almost immediately upon bringing him into the party. Yeah. <laughs> At least now I've gotten, you know, this is what, episode nine? I believe. Yeah, you got yeah. nine episodes. I've, I've gotten to enjoy him so far, so yeah. hopefully Counselor Pelbori doesn't incinerate him. Yeah, oh jeez, man. The Suviac would feel awful if that happened. <laughs> would he, though? He'd be like relieved that he doesn't have to deal with him anymore. There'd be, it'd be bitter. It'd definitely be like a bittersweet departure. It's like, cool, I don't have to deal with this guy's antics, but damn it, there was something there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we will. Okay, let's see here. Four, one, two, three, four. All right, this one is from Caleb, and this is a random. So we'll roll a four-sided die and see who this goes to, and it will go to Sill. Yeah, Sill. Yay. You're gonna have to do. Oh, we already went through that one, right? You're gonna have to go through hell worse than any nightmare you've ever dreamed. I think so. Yeah, that we already familiar. did that one. Okay, that we already did that one. So I get to re-roll. All right, all right. So I get to roll. Start six. All right. So this one is from Jess. Oh, and this one so happy. goes to Zaba. Corey's commitment to distinct character accents is very fun, even to the point of sorry, not sorry, that Jason keeps killing off his characters and providing <laughs> opportunities for new voices. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bittersweet. Thank you. Thanks, Jess. This is they only get worse from here. This is about as pleasurable as they are. I warn you now. Is that a threat to Jason to not kill anyone no more? <laughs> yeah. They might be. I've Thank been practicing you, Jess. the backup. So. Thank- Thanks, Jessica. Appreciate you. Thanks, Jess. You a real one, homie. Keep it up. All right. So, there you go. We are all refresh on hero points. So, yes, if you wanted to re-roll your hero point, Jack, to re-roll your critical miss jackson you could or you could save it i gotta save it i have to right. but i i think i think they'll be better spent elsewhere all right now we go to zaba Ugh. i do not like do not like being afraid so i'm just taking a negative two on all checks and dcs and whatnot correct basically yeah 
At the end of your cool. turn, you're frightened. We'll go down one. Perfect. I will step forwards five feet, so mm. further into the room, going base to base. Okay. And as part of that move action, I will take a free action to drop the trident from my arm. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to reach out and actually make a trip attack against Counselor Pelbori. Nice. I rolled real bad. That's a critical miss, which means you would fall prone. Cool. I I do that. Oh. Okay. Awesome. Yikes. <laughs> okay. So that was your second action. And now I'm angry. So I'm just going to swing at her once one-handed with my bastard sword from prone. From your ass. From, from your from ass, ass, buddy. And this will be at map. Uh, not sure if map is properly in there. It's not. What then? It missed anyway. Yeah. Cool. Ooh, okay. Uh, and that is Zaba. Good job, Zaba. Uh, walks up, falls on his ass, and that's about all he manages <laughs> to accomplish. <laughs> I'm so scared. Ah. <sighs> all right. Oh, we get. To, we do get to drop your frightened condition by one, so that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So you're up. Yeah. So we'll rush into the room. Go, Sil, go. Happy to see that the counselor isn't dead yet. Thank God. Free action to remind everyone. Let's not kill her if we don't have to. Yeah. Not a mechanical reaction, by the way. Just. Oh, just, yes. Yeah. And I suppose that's this one. Scary. Oh, okay. Uh, drop into a stance and attempt to return the favor and demoralize the counselor by glaring at her because she's not already frightened, right? Timothy tried and failed. Is that? I did. Correct. Okay. Yep. All right. You got this. Yeah. Very scary. Ooh, 18 on the die. 29. Against her will, DC? Mm Mm-hmm. That is a critical success. Yay, she's super scared. She's super scared. She's frightened, too. Hell yeah. It's all three. All right. Well, she gets to go now, and none too pleased. She will... Cast a spell. Whoa. She is going to plant fear in the target. And she is going to target Timothy. Oh, man. And I'm going ne- to I'm going to need you, Timothy, to make that will save. Prayer. Just a quick prayer, really quick. Oh, well, it's only a fail. Thank God. It's 10 on the die. Plus 8 is an 18. That's a fail. So you are now frightened too. Everybody's scared. Everybody's scared. Yay. <laughs> and for her final action, she's looking down at Zabo Trav. Oh. And Even on my back, I'm probably close to her height. <laughs> right. <laughs> and she's going to say, "You're not. You're not going to stop me. No." The people of this town need me. And if I have to do it, I will do it. And she's going to try to plunge her dagger right into Zaba. Whoa. And hit. Oh. That's fine. This is fine. Whoa. Cool. For 13 oh. damage. Yeah. Gosh. She hitting hard. She's a no whore. These are spicy hits. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. If she, I was standing, I could hit harder. Yeah. Mr. Bono. Yeah, it's me. Hey, God, it's me. Your unfortunate child. All right. I'm going to look at this councilwoman. And I 
I'm going to cast something. Because I should be able to still cast while I'm under the frightened condition. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I'm going to cast the spell Ease. I can't trip. She's got to make a will save. She probably is going to beat it. Boy, you never know. She is frightened. That is true. Oh, that was all. That was on a three, but that's a critical success. It rolled to the nineteen. Well, damn it! Fuck. That was like my only like. I don't think I've got anything else. That's one turn. Okay. His last action, Timothy. Timothy's not gonna attack or anything else other than just say, "Listen, we understand you're wanting to help out the town. What? What we're seeing here, though, this isn't helping." You probably saw what was out there, out in the in itself. You're causing spirits to hurt people in the town. Don't you realize that what you're doing is wrong? Like he's trying to basically, I don't know. If there's a way to make it like a like yeah, a diplomacy so, check, yeah. So make that diplomacy check for me. Yeah. Oh. Well, if you weren't frightened. I know, but I wasn't fucking frightened, huh? That's a failure on that diplomacy yeah. check. Close. Yeah. All right. And then you do get to lower your frightened condition by one, so you can lower that on your character hey, sheet. Thank you. And we go to Vesuviac. <sighs> uh, hmm. Try to think of what the best thing to do is. I don't necessarily want to attack her, but I do need to still be able to buff the party. Let's see, can I put Forbidding Ward on Zaba again? You should be able to. Alright, cool, yep, then I'll do that. Let's go ahead and I gotta take one action to stride up behind Zaba, and then two actions to Forbidding Ward on Zaba as well. And uh, the targeting question would be the Counselor. Okay. So I'm just basically right behind Zaba, uh, within arm's reach of Timothy, and not far from Syl as well, so I'm in a good spot to heal if needed. Yeah, what a hero. Sounds great. All right, Mr. Otrov, you're up. All right, I am living on the ground here. This is not (laughs) great, so I take first action to stand up. I take second action to attempt to trip once again. Get rid of your prone. Okay, that is a that is a success on the trip. Yeah. Perfect. And then I uh She has so many conditions on her. Go ahead. <laughs> so so does Zaba. It's it's kind of ridiculous actually. Or it, it looked like Zaba had quite a few before when he was prone. Yeah. And then I will strike once one-handed with the great sword. If I wanted to do this non-lethally, what is the the modifier there? It's a minus two. All right. He will attempt to strike non-lethally as Syl has offered or ordered. Ooh. Zava doing non-lethal damage in this economy? Holy shit, Zava. And that is a hit. Oh, cool. And let's give her a smack. Uh, middle, middle of the road damage with eleven points of slashing. Knock some sense into her. She takes it all. You'll need to hang out and be not a bad guy. Come on. Uh, and at this point, my fear would wear off. So we'll start circling around, getting to the other side of her. Smart. But take Timothy's lead and you know try to talk her down and just, you know, chill out. We're not here to hurt you. I mean, we're here to stop you, but we'd, we'd really rather not hurt you. Um, so I'm trying to talk as a second action. And then assuming okay. she doesn't change anything about her behavior, we will attempt to... Okay, so she kind of pauses for a moment. 
as you know, you've tried to talk to her a little bit, and the fact that Zaba hit her, but like not in such a way that it did lethal damage. So she like that's kind of putting two and two together. And she's like, oh. so hold on, you're not here to stop me, but you're saying that, but you're, you're saying that I'm the cause of this. Look at Saba, I assume I heard him talking to her from uh, the hallway. Not so much cause, but part of uh, making worse, not cause necessarily. Yeah, we want to help and, you figure out what's going on, get to the bottom of this. And at this point, she will, oh, okay. Um, you realize that at this point she just kind of pauses and we will turn or are you, you, you can, can finish I your use action. a third action to keep talking to her sure okay so just continuing on that line of you know All right it sounds like things went wrong we know you were trying to do better I'm gonna use a hero point to not fail this Oh, we just got them. Yeah, we're doing it. Oh, nice. Nice. That's better. So that was a 17 for a 28. And it comes to her turn. And she will stand up and just hold her turn. She's not going to do anything. She's like, okay. Okay. Hold on. And Timothy, we yeah. go to you. Timothy, well, like seeing that she's actually like standing there for a moment, he's like, okay, she can definitely be talked down from we, I need to figure out the best way to go about this. And so Timothy, as he's looking around the room uh, and just like trying to look at her handiwork and stuff like that, I guess he wants to keep going with Syl to like, help out with her diplomacy he's going to walk in more so he can actually be seen by her past Saba Mm -hmm. Uh, he'll walk up the 20 feet so he's kind of like right over here and be like again we're not trying to hurt you here we know what you're trying to do is to help out the town and we get it We, we completely understand but what you're doing here is affecting other places. You you realize that, right? The one of the shops in town. We just helped out one of the Orpox here. She uh, her maps were getting all messed up, and there are other weird instances. It sounds like everything is leading to here, and your spell, what you're doing here, is messing with it, and it's making it worse. You've got to redo what you're doing here. At the very least, go about it a different way because you're upsetting all of the spirits and you're making a situation that was somewhat bad way worse. So yeah. he's good. Diplomacy. Try that again. Yeah. I'll roll up. Diplomacy. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's a 24, baby. 15 plus 9 for 24. Okay. Vesuviac. We go to you. <laughs> Suviac's not a talker. <laughs> so You Vesu- don't have to talk. Yeah, Vesuviac's <laughs> definitely going to be a lot more on the inquisitive side of things. He's going to get around Zaba, move just to get around and see more into the room, and also to just make sure that she sees his presence. And uh, I think he's interested on the map, so he's going to do a quick recall knowledge on it while things are still going on. Oh, I'm also uh, continuing the concentration on Shield of Faith because he doesn't quite trust that things are smooth yeah. over yet. Yeah. <laughs> so for if you want to take a look at the or conspiracy map, let me see. This would be... Fuck yeah, I love Red Web. <laughs> Pepe mm, I don't think you have any of these, really. The best one, yeah, the only thing you could roll would be society, bud. Uh, society? Who? We live in society. All right. Oh, well, I didn't get to do it. Let's fine. see if I can figure it out. <laughs> it's 
straight die roll. Yeah, you're not. Let's see, what do I give you on that? Yeah, so you take a look at her, at her conspiracy uh, map, and it's not. You're not gleaning a whole lot. You do see clean line surveying and the Wave Watcher and and the Academy of Tastes and where Dardis Farms would be if you had gone. Like, oh, yeah, that pro- that, there's a farm. That, that's probably Dardis Farms. But you don't really notice any significance, at least not in the way she's laid out the map. And you're not, yeah. And unfortunately, the failure gets you... And you can't make another. You can't make another check. Sorry, bud. That's okay. <laughs> That'll be all I can do. All right, Zaba. I think Zaba will just first action put his second hand onto the grip of his great or his bastard sword, and then will hold a non-lethal strike if she shows any hostile oh. intent. Yep. So. For the two newbies, mm-hmm. um, what you can do is you can spend two actions on your turn to create what's called a readied action. Oh! So, but the readied action has to be a one-action thing. Okay. It can't cost any more than one action, and it will eat up your reaction. But so what Zaba's doing is he he spent one action to grip his bastard sword in two hands. Got it. And then for his second and third action, he's readying a sh- one strike, a non-lethal okay. strike on Pelbori if she does anything um, aggressive. And it'll it'll eat up his reaction, but it's readied. So he he dictates the trigger. Mm-hmm. She's doing anything malicious or aggressive, or you know, and um, and then that'll trigger. So, all right, cool. And at this point we can drop out of the encounter. Oh, shit. As she will hear you out. As as she will hear you out. And if anybody else wants to do a recall knowledge on the conspiracy map. I would like to. I would very much like to. (laughs) What is your lore other than esoteric? You have haunt. I have haunt. So that so you'll roll society as well. Sick. Sickness. Zaba, Would Lord you... Demons apply? No. Or religion? Or no. sailing? No. <laughs> I, he's not going to roll. He's just going to keep his eyes on her. All right. And so if you wanted to roll society, you could as no. well. No, Syl's just doing the talking with her, keeping her calm. All right. Timothy, what you Hi. are able to glean is that you notice that the room or well, that's a symbol scroll too far down <laughs> that there are that the four marked locations there are four marked locations as though they have been singled out because of some kind of import whether you're not sure mm-hmm. why Clean line surveying, the Dardis Farms, the Wave Watcher Inn, and the Academy of Tastes. The shape of these four points is connected with a lot with lines, and they form an occult sigil. So that's what you are able to tell. I I know a little bit about occultism. Could I could I see what that symbol is? Like can I I don't know, use my my knowledge of occultism things. Cuz I do have a plus 9 to occultism. Yeah, you can you can am- attempt a secret yeah. roll. Yeah, I want to I want to want to do that cuz I'm very curious. Yeah, that's not going to get you anything. Oh, what did I get? Here, I can reveal it. Yeah. Oh, I know how bad. Cool. Yeah. That was a 7 on the die plus 9. Thanks. Oh, boy. Yeah, Timothy is looking over this map and then looks back to uh, the chamberwoman. It's like, why do you have an occult symbol on this map? Uh, what do you mean? It, 
he like shows her it's like your 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 lines. This is a, this is an occult symbol. I I can't place which one, but this this makes a symbol. How how are these all? I mean, I guess they're all haunted. But why did you use these ones? I no, I was I I saw that this was. I didn't make it. I I saw that this was causing the way that they were coming, and no. It wasn't me. I was trying to stop it. How long have ghosts been affecting your town? It's it's been a couple weeks. Like I Nobody is blaming you here. Did you Yeah. Did you draw this symbol though? I'm confused cuz some other maps kind of got altered by the ghosts. No, no. No. The, what are you what are you pointing at? The so, occult symbol, asking if she drew the, oh, this. The, on the, on the, um, that's entwined on the conspiracy yeah. map? Yeah. No, 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 that's, that's just what I've, what I found, um, based on my research. I think that is, I think that has something to do with something else. No, you can go look at my notes. They're all over there. And she points to the table in the corner. Timothy's going over to that because now this is very, very interesting to him. This one over here, or no, in the in the top corner. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. Okay, yeah, Timothy's going uh, over there. And you can see there's a bunch of books and yeah, so there's a bunch of like symbols and books and stuff related to spirits and monsters. The pa- pa- papers are all just bunches of notes and drawings a lot of which you you're as you're looking over these papers timothy yeah a lot of which you seem to gather have been coming from strange visions that the counselor has been getting has been having oh okay timothy grabs the papers and comes back over to her and is like, okay, how long have you been seeing these things? I just, just a couple weeks. Same amount of time. And you, by any chance, haven't made any enemies or your town hasn't made any enemies with any, I don't know, places around? No, no, not that, not that I know of. No. This is weird. This is really weird. With the with the notes that I have here, you said that it's like creatures and monsters or anything like that. Do we I recognize some of these just from so, my own. Just a bunch art. of um So what you can what you get and what you see is from her visions. She's getting her drawings are have detailed what seems to you, Timothy, like some mountain-sized crustacean creature that seems to be rising from the bottom of the sea Whoa. with a skull that is studded with gems. And you see four phrases that seem to be, to repeat and not really in any discernible pattern but these yeah. four phrases convenient or not conveniently they seem to show up more than on more than one occasion the first one being spirits of the earth will consume the living and cast down their towns and you don't have to worry about this i will put the phrases in our discord channel oh thank you The second phrase is the behemoth shivers. Beware the shivering behemoth. The third phrase is what was cast beneath the the sea shall rise up once more. Mm -hmm. And last, the diamond is the key, but only once it is made whole. Diamond is key, but only once it's made whole. Okay. Timothy's 
bringing over this page to her, like, to... And, like, actually showing everybody else as well. It's like, what do you know about this? I don't know anything about those. Those are... Those are from my... From my visions. I... I get, I get into, I, I allow myself to fall into a trance, and when I get into these trances, sometimes my hand just draws and writes. I don't do this consciously. Interesting. I mean, I, I understand, but interesting. So I was going to glance uncomfortably at the Suviac. Before turning to Timothy, you know, uh, Procta had a vision too. You know, Procta, right? You, you've heard me talk about her. You mentioned them a few times. Yeah, she had a she had a vision once. Might might be related, uh, you know, to the whole thing that we're doing. We should probably talk about this elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I've uh few suspicions of my own. This is really weird. Okay. Timothy's just going through the fa- the phrases again in his head. It's like if if we want to leave here, we we can. I mean, let's get the councilwoman back. Yeah. Home. Let's By get rid way, of these ruins maybe. Miss Oh, Miss Councilwoman, where's the owner? I I I don't know. How long? Okay. How long have you been here? Well, I I came here a couple days ago. You you saw me at the yeah at the at the at the council chambers. I I I got I came here because I've been trying to ensure that the room that oh no and she just breaks down and starts crying, um, realizing that what what Zaba is telling her actually came, it has come true. The fact that she has just made things so much worse with her spell. With Timothy, her with her runes. Timothy goes over and I think he actually gives her, her his like coat and it's like, hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. We can fix this. You you just need a I need you to be here. And I need you to focus on breathing, okay? <sighs> okay. Yeah, that's that's great. That's great. Come on, let's let's get you out of here. I will thoroughly trash the room for us. Uh, maybe not. We don't want the owner to not have a place. It is, it is fine. I know how to do it respectfully. We should at least clean up the circle, but trash the room is kind of a stretch. Is there a way for us to take that map? Oh no, this is like just pinned up on the wall from oh, scrawl man. from scrawls and whatnot. Is, okay, then can I be you able to draw it up? Yeah, like, so you, like, yeah. you could pull some parchment and yeah. Spend, I'm 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 assuming you know, you know, like, getting mm-hmm. patching like while well, Vesuviac is taken. You know, half an hour to patch people up and just heal up some yeah. wounds. Timothy can sit there and scrawl on a piece yeah. of parchment. I know the counselor took a little bit of damage during the fight, so I'm going to heal them up. <laughs> oh, what a hero. Now that Vesuviac is very confident that they're not a threat. Yeah. I think Zalba just makes his way to the kitchen and makes some food while they're fucking around in there. <laughs> feels completely at ease in this building. Yeah, he'll grab his trident on the way out. Go hang nice. out in the kitchen until you guys are done. This, These knowledge things are beyond him. Knowledge is beyond the simple man's coil. There's an upstairs here too, right? Is there? There's actually nothing upstairs. Okay, so we could check yeah, for you, the you, owner. You, you, She's can, not there. Okay. I'm, you know... I, we can just kind of hand wave and say that there's nothing upstairs. Like you go up there and there's just yeah yeah. Zob- just just empty room. Say, Seal Team Six is all the yeah. rooms and they're all just empty. Take yeah, them out. Just a bunch of empty rooms. Cool. So yeah, I guess we uh, we leave. 
do once one more quick look over on this place, make sure we didn't miss anything, and yeah. uh, essentially on the way out, I guess. Yeah, you 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 got everything in this in this place. So congratulations. Nice. Hell yeah! And you're headed back to headed back to the council. Yeah, I feel yeah. like maybe we should have a conversation before we go to the council, kind of sort some stuff out. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. our services are needed at the farm. I uh, kind of used my last heal spell during that uh, during that last escapade. How long has it been? Like, what this... time of day is it? <laughs> you all went the first thing in the morning, right? We did, but I want to find out how long it was. Like, uh, what time of day is it? We've been here for like an hour and a half. Yeah. It's, oh, pro- it's probably only about Noon. 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you, still, you can you can hang out for the rest of the day if you wanted, just to have a beach episode. <laughs> yeah. Well, I still have my layout hands and the battle medicine, so it's not like I can't heal. I just don't have the good heals. It's fair. It's, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm a good guy. I stand in front, take all the blows I can, and I got lots of hit points for everyone. It's fine. The issue is we'll that you have don't have our little conversation and, uh, you know interrogate this mayor lady counselor my apologies and uh then we go talk to the council once we get our story straight or we go to the farm i guess but uh <laughs> there's plenty of food in the kitchen yeah yeah we can yeah, I mean, send the did... councilwoman out and then just eat here among the dead bodies uh, that sounds great zaba it's our in now i uh, no it's not we uh, you know, I'm not gonna argue you. I'm not gonna argue. Vesuviac, do you have to, like, put these bodies to rest or something? Is that, like, a cleric thing? I mean, yeah, I know a few funeral rites. It'd be great. We could burn building to ground. Let's not burn the building to the ground. Y'all know why you don't want to burn building to ground? Because now you are attached to the idea of owning it. No. See, it's not easy. No, it's not that I'm attached to that idea, you crazy man. I don't want to ruin someone else's life. Omer is already dead. What makes you think that they're strongest. dead? Intuition. What? She's I probably need a... dead, Timothy. Well, I, you can hold out some hope. Maybe she's not. Maybe, I don't know, she's dealing with some ooky spooky spirit shit. <laughs> ooky spooky spirit shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I'm as I'm doing my funeral rites over the dead body, do I is there like a name tag or anything so I know if one of those the owner? Greg from accounting. <laughs> That's who shows up. Yeah, it's 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 not Abdomo. No. Okay. Bippity boppity Just... buried. We're good. Yeah. Well, they're burying. If the councilwoman's left, I suppose this is as good. Timothy time does as grab any. back his jacket from the councilwoman. It's nice. like we'll, we'll the talk back later. only lasts so long. She can't go home with it. No, 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 okay. no. <laughs> it's his only good jacket he has. He wants to make sure he doesn't get chilly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where are you headed? I think we're just talking here among okay. the dead bodies, because that's creepy. Makes sense. Yeah. So, you know, once we're all gathered, I I mean, the Suviac kind of already found out about this, but... Kaku was kind of mixed up in some bad shit. Um, oh, shit. Like a, a cult and a, like, big behemoth creature. Kind of looked like some of those pictures. I don't know. It could be related. Uh, it's kind of what we're doing here. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it's related. If, if, if your friend called it a behemoth. Yeah, she called it, like, the... Cult of the Behemoth. I think that's what she said. We could write her. She'd probably write back. That would probably be really good, because she might have more information about this thing than what we've been given here. But this, and he, like, brings up the papers. This seems like a really bad, I, like, bad thing. Just all cards on the table. This does not seem good. Do you know anything about a diamond? Or the diamond? Any of this bring any bells to you? You I mean, you've been traveling before. You know before. we're tracking down a jewel, right? Like we've got yeah, this one but, piece. We're gonna get more pieces of diamonds. A jewel. Yeah, but it could be a different kind of jewel. I don't know. I uh, I don't know much about jewels, to be honest well, with you. 
They said that they started seeing the visions a couple weeks ago. Yeah. When did you find the first shard? Uh, was, that was a couple weeks ago, maybe. I mean, there was, like, creepy undead stuff happening on the other island, too, and, like, these weird statues. Rizzerk said they were something, but I think he was kind of making it up. I'm just thinking that there's a good chance that you finding and taking that shard of the jewel may have set something in motion. It set off stuff. I mean, it, it could, or maybe stuff was already happening and we're just, you know, doing good work now. Yeah. If that's the case, the timing of this is rather uncanny. Sure. Zabi, you know about big, scary monsters, right? Like, yeah, you've does seen this those seem things. familiar to you? Uh, you know, these... Doesn't sound like any of the creatures I necessarily fought before. You know, like... You know, like... Abominations with 40 arms that breathe oh. fire and acid. And oh, like, yeah. You know, like other demons at times when there were uprisings between sections of the abyss. Once or twice I was uh, sent out to this thing called the War Wound, but it was not for me. You know, it did not stick around very long. So, yeah, not really my cup of tea. I do. I was, you know. I've been loved by a couple cults, but, you know, I am my own kind of monster. You had a few cults to you? Well, you know, there was that stupid one in Cheliax that think I was devil, not demon. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Fools. But, uh, you know, and then there was that other one. But, uh, you know, they died. Oh. They <laughs> died or you <laughs> killed them? Well, it was... It was stormy. I'm not exactly sure if it was my blade or their own blade. Deniable fallibility, I think, is the term I'm looking for. Plausible deniability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Vesuviax killed people in the night before. Well, that's right, Vesuviax. You you were like a big scary thing, right? Like, that's, that's what you dragons used to do. Have you run into a giant... Crustacean. Well, it is the cult of the behemoth. Could I do a uh, recall knowledge using religion to see if I know anything about it? Sure. Give me a secret roll. I wish I secret roll. No, there you go. Gonna... Yeah, no. Nah. Dang. Not gonna happen, yeah. brother. Vesuviax is gonna shake his head and go, "No, the uh, I I don't come from these islands, so word of this." cult or any behemoth that is being referenced here that's something that's local I don't know about it yeah Poppy Poppy fought it back in the day apparently that's what practice said I uh I'm not gonna lie I don't know much of the history around these parts <laughs> yeah I'm still trying to piece a lot of it together it's it's a lot for an outsider shit can I'm trying. I'm trying to think of what I want Timothy to do here because he's looking this thing over. Is there a way I could maybe, by a chance, do a recall knowledge? Just is there a way to maybe see if I can know more about this? Like if I were to search my mind for the cult of the Shivering Behemoth. Yeah, or if there's like anything that sounds familiar to him, like at all whatsoever. Mm. If not, that make that's fine. But I'm just trying to see if maybe. Yeah, how about you give me a secret esoteric lore check? Okay, I'll take that. You know, this this problem would be way easier if you stopped killing my my characters. <laughs> the last couple would have would have come in real clutch with this, but uh... okay. Here, hold on. No, that was no. lower than Vesuviac. Damn, I'm nope. oh, a plus twelve to esoteric. Lame. It means I got a two and you got a one. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Just Timothy. means uh, we'll have to do further research somewhere else. Yeah, which sucks. Timothy just shrugs his head, and, like shrugs and just shakes his head. It's like, yeah, sorry. I I really wish I knew more. I, I don't. I mean, practice researching it. We don't need to know. We just have to go find the jewel and then she'll tell us what to do and it'll all be fine. Yeah. There you have help. it. And yeah, just gotta send send a bird to mm -hmm. Procta. Yeah. Or whatever yeah, the I long distance catch a bird. Yeah. Whatever the long distance messaging is, 
Ma- magic messaging. I was gonna say, I think magic maybe instead of birds, but... Well, I don't know, yeah, I don't know if there is a long distance spell for message. I like the idea for Zaba going and catching a bird for the purpose of sending the message with, not even hiring a trained bird, but just going <laughs> and getting a bird. It's just a random seagull. That's what we do for the yeah. rest of the day. Yeah. We go he, catch birds? He comes yeah. back go with Go catch a... birds on the beach. <laughs> no, like, Zaba comes back with a gamayan. Oh my god. <laughs> I got you, Zaba. bird. I Zaba, that's not even. Yeah, Zaba. Let her go. An actual she strip. said she was looking for, uh, you know, could tell us directions and looking for that's good time. Not... Seemed like kind of bird we're looking that's for. Why are you so bird. rude? <laughs> The perfect one. He, cl- he climbs up to the top of the mountain. He actually pulls the Strix down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this bird you look for. <laughs> He's the bird you look for. You send Zaba. message for me. <laughs> <laughs> Zaba found a fully sized dragon. <laughs> yes. I think he would know the difference bird, right? between that and a bird. <laughs> Maybe. No, it's Maybe. fucked up bird. How- matters how many attempts he's made and how pissed off he is with his failures. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that being the case, then um, I think we should just call it. All right, then. Our, your party didn't end tonight. Yeah. And I hope yeah. our listeners' party Thank you. never ends. Yeah. Me, your party never ends. Me, your party, May your party, party never, never ends. See you guys. Bye. The Jewel of the Indigo Isles Adventure Path is copyright 2023. All logos, titles, and artwork are property of Skyscraper Studios and Roll for Combat and used with permission. Pathfinder is a trademark of Paizo Incorporated. The theme music is written and performed by Robbie Whiplash.